Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of the Daily Nature Journal. I'm back at Seaton Wetlands again today and I'm here to feed the robins as usual. I spent a lot of time with little Garrett here. I call him Garrett because of the markings around his neck. He obviously took some damage in the past and his feathers have never really healed. So it looks a little bit like he's been garroted. But don't tell him that I said that. So after feeding the robins, I'm going to use the footage in the studio to put another drawing into my nature journal. Hey, welcome back to the studio. So, so far I've done a few sketches really quickly of feeding little Garrett on my, off my hand. I've got first when the robin was on the twig, then flying to my hand and then finally sitting on my hand. So we're now going to go ahead and do a bit of colouring. Now on my palette I've got some orange, some brown and some indigo. And all of these are botanical inks this time. It's so important to be able to paint things quite quickly without getting too carried away in the details. If you want to make detailed work, that's really great. And having this quick working skill will improve your detailed work as well. I think the main thing that it really does is gets you practiced in being able to pick out what are the most important things in the, in the image. So if you're doing a very quick image, you find those important things and you only show those. If you're doing a really detailed image, you then know which parts to highlight to really make the image look great. Just adding a little bit of shading between the fingers. I'm using a little bit of a wine red from my Inktense set to do that. You can also put a little bit of shadow in here. going to darken the orange a little bit just in a couple of places to add a little bit of shading I'm just using my white highlighter now just to put a few little bright areas in Some of the lightest areas in my reference image are on my hand, so I'm brightening that. And then I'm just going to add a little label. So I really want to darken up this little area around his neck. You actually realise when you look at his neck just how thick the feathers are on robins because it really does look like it goes in a very long way before it reaches his skin. So I want to add more dark around the neck in all of the pictures of him. So I think I'm happy with that. I've wanted to sketch hand feeding the robin for a little while so I'm glad that I've actually now got this in my journal. 
So I hope you enjoyed watching the painting part of the process. Please do like the video if you wouldn't mind. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one.